I was looking at the notes that are available in the 3.1 release of Blender, and I noticed a new note called Scene Time. And I thought... This is perfect for the loading animation tutorial I was already making. So let's make it. Add a plane, or use the default cube. It doesn't really matter. We just need something to add the Geometry Notes modifier to. Head over to the Geometry Notes workspace, and press New to add a new node tree. Add a curve circle from the curve primitives, and connect it to the group output. Then connect the resolution socket of the curve circle to an empty socket of the group input. This way we can control the resolution, or amount of points, that the circle is made up of, out here in the modifiers tab. Next, add a UV sphere from the mesh primitives, and set the radius to something like 0.1. Then add an instance on points node. The points we will use are the points that make up the circle, and the instance object will be the UV sphere. The instance spheres are all equal in size, but we will fix that right away. First, add an index node, and a math node set to multiply. Connect the index node to the multiply node, then connect that node to the scale socket of the instance on points node, and set the multiply value to something like 0.03. The way this works is that each point on the curve has an index from 0 to the amount of points minus 1. So in this case, with a curve with 32 control points, the index range goes from 0 to 31. And by multiplying the index value with some small value, we can adjust the scaling of the instances. To shift the scaling along the control points, we need two nodes between the index node and the multiply node. A math node set to add, and another math node set to modulo. Whenever you're working with looping values, the modulo node is usually a good fit. In our case, we want to use the resolution of the curve circle as the bottom value of the modulo node. If we set 1 as the value of the add node, every index value will get 1 added to it which means that the last index now has a value of 32 instead of 31. But since we have 32, the resolution of the curve circle as the mod value, that index value gets reset back to 0, because 32 mod 32 is 0. If we add one more to the index, the max index is now 33, which gets reset to 1, since 33 mod 32 is 1. And this cycle continues for every point on the curve circle. However, you might have noticed that the animation is going the wrong way. Unfortunately, we can't just use negative values, because as soon as we pass negative 32, the animation starts going in the wrong direction again. But no worries, the fix is pretty simple. Just add a math node set to subtract, after the module node. Then connect the resolution socket from the group input to the bottom socket of the subtract node. This essentially maps the 0 to 31 range, to a new range of negative 32 to negative 1, which reverses the direction of the animation. All that's left to do is to make the animation procedural, so let's make use of the new scene time node. The scene time node provides both the current frame of the timeline as well as the time in seconds. Essentially, it removes the need for a hashtag frame driver in the node tree, which used to be the way to automatically animate values. The scene time values can of course also be adjusted with the math node. And in our case I will set it to multiply. To make it easier to make adjustments to the loading animation, let's expose some values of the node tree to the modifiers tab. Drag the bottom value of the scene time multiply node to an empty socket of the group input. Press N to open the property sidebar, then rename the input to speed. Another value that is helpful to have access to is the scaling. So connect the bottom value of the last multiply node to an empty socket of the group input as well. Then rename it to scaling. Now if we press play in the timeline, the loading animation should loop seamlessly. And we can play around with the values in the modifiers tab until we get something we like. And of course, we don't have to restrict ourselves to just scaling the instances. So 
See you next time.